Three camera up. Set and action. It's going to be different for sure. This is the first time anyone's ever tried it like this. Every single person is singing every take live. This has not been done with this kind of consistency in a musical before. The idea of singing live is daunting, but what it gives you is this freedom. We have found an amazing group of actors who are completely at home acting through music. And the only way you can make that work is by capturing it in the moment. Normally, if you were making an old school movie musical, as a group of actors, we'd go into a studio, we'd record an album, and then two months later, we'd arrive on set and they would play the playback and we would mime alongside it. The problem with that is that you have to make all your acting choices three months before you've even met the actor you're working with. By recording it live, Tom is allowing us the spontaneity of normal film acting. You can tell in your bones there's something false or unreal about people singing to playback. What will be exciting for the audience is that singing live has such a profound effect on the, the power and the realism of this story. I do the soliloquy and it starts with, What have I done, sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a thief in the night, become a dog on the run. Have I fallen so far and is the hour so late that nothing remains but the cry of my hate? Okay, so that's if you were singing it literally, it'd be like that. I can go out there and some takes, I'd, I'd be like, what have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a thief in the night, become a dog on the run. Have I fallen so far and is the hour so late that nothing remains but the cry of my hate? I can take a little break, I can move on, I can speed it up, I can slow it down, which means I just have to worry about acting it. I missed it 20 long years ago. The actors have hidden earpieces and we have a pianist who is playing live into the actors' earpieces, and the actors are setting the tempo rather than a pre-recorded music track. There's a way for us. I love you. The the night is over. Ultimately, the piano will be replaced by a 70-piece orchestra. I love him. Everything has to be completely natural. So a lot of us are stripping it right back so that you can just live it a lot more. There were so many questions and answers that somehow seem wrong. It's so much more powerful. You have complete freedom, complete control. When you're doing a love scene as an actor, you just wish there was music to kind of help you get there. But now you hear the piano in your ears. Now you, you are the music. And it almost can make you cry. Cosette, cosette. This is a change. What comes with this way of working is you get the fragility of a voice which matches with the emotions of what a character's saying. And hope was high and life worth living. When I saw the trailer and Anne singing with this extraordinary fragility, that song, which I thought I knew pretty well, suddenly I listened to the lyrics for the first time afresh. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. There seemed to be something selfish about trying to go for the pretty version. But She's devastated. She's literally at the bottom of a hole looking up and realizing she's never going to climb out of this. So I just decided to apply the truth to the melody and then see what would happen. I had a dream my life would be. For something like Les Miserables, it has to feel real. It has to feel immediate. So different from this hell I'm living. Singing live. There's an emotional level to this that just cannot be created in the studio. No life has killed. I thought there was an amazing opportunity to do something genuinely groundbreaking. 